Marco's Bistro, Liberty City, 1986. Tommy Vercetti? <laughs> Shit. Didn't they? They never let him out. He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we going to do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg, schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vercetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months, then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Broken wings in the background is just like iconic. Oh, I love this game. I'm so excited. Uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great. Hey, well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the uh, the business, and the other one does the. I have such fond memories of this game. It's just like, this is it. This is the number one. Okay, that's them in the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight. Let's go. Hundred percent pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens, tens and twenties, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh shit! I've never noticed that before. It looks like uh, it looked like Lance, Lance Vance in the helicopter. I've never th noticed. I poked my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shoveled shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Oh yeah, here we go, here we go. So like I did with GTA 3, we're gonna have music on for the first half an hour or so. I don't know how I can go through this entire game without all the music stations on, but straight on Flash FM, the best, my favorite. Still morning. We interrupt your programming with a message from the State Department. All bridges and some roads in the Vice City metropolitan area have been closed because of a severe weather warning. Meteorologists are tracking Hurricane Hermione, which has devastated five Hurricane Hermione. and is heading for Vice City. More updates soon. Um. Yeah, it's uh. Walk to the front door of the Ocean View Hotel to enter the building. I can do that. Walking in interiors and stuff like it was such a it was such a step up from GTA Three. But it was the setting, and the the music, 
and the soundtrack and like this is the best soundtrack in any game ever it has to be hello sonny tommy tommy it's been too long i know i know you're just overwhelmed with emotion 15 years seems like only yesterday i guess that's a perspective thing hey Doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny! You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm going to let you have this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. The, um, find the lawyer's office, follow the old blip, okay. I want to go back. Because, isn't it like, it's like a GTA 3 reference, isn't it? Like, I always, I always thought this was that anyway. I'm sure that's like a scene uh, that's on this GTA 3 in some way. Has to be a little Easter egg in his apartment, but like the voice actors in this, like the 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 fact that they had so many incredible voices. This game just came at the perfect time before gaming got to, you know, mainstream and and like it, the fact that it was able to attract all these incredible actors who probably didn't feel like they needed to be paid massive amounts of money. V Rock. The old banshee. Emotion. The music. I, I can't, you can't, like, we can't do it just, I can't do it just in this first half, and, like, we're gonna have to turn the music off, but it's, it's just not enough. This, this half an hour isn't we'll enough. Some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off, drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are going to come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we going to do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're going to do. You're going to find out who took our cocaine, and then we're going to kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are going to be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but, you know, this isn't going to be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go. Come on. Ah, oh, it's kid? so good. I'm dress like a chump as well as hang out with them. I like this shirt. I love those little audio clips as well. After like some of the missions, while you're in the loading screen. All right, new threads from Raphael's clothes shop. Okay, that's fine. I might take the long way around on some of these uh, some of these missions early on just to just to soak in the music. It was such a nice change of pace as well from GTA. Like you know, you got used to GTA 3 with the 
um, the main protagonist not saying anything and then you've actually got a fully fleshed out character now in Vice City. I mean, I guess I'm gonna take the bike. Yeah. No, my bike. <laughs> I didn't need to, but hey, we gotta play into it. Flash was my favorite, but like so many of the radio stations were incredible. Oops. I mean. I feel like, so the, the reason, as you probably all know, the reason that I can't have the music on for the entire way through the uh, stream uh, is because, wait, isn't the entrance to this back the other way? It's okay, we can listen to the music. Um, but yeah, the, oh, the, the old fairness. There it is. What a machine! What a machine! You <laughs> can't buy this anymore, GTR mine. Oh man. Oh, I love it. I a pistol. Uh, but yeah, the reason I can't play music is obviously because uh, it gets copyrighted on YouTube and. I didn't. I, I'd get no income from the first episode of these playthroughs because I leave the music on. But I feel like it's worth it to give us the full experience for the first half an hour. But then, if you want to, you know, load up GTA Vice City soundtrack or something and have it playing in the background while I'm while you're watching these playthroughs, by all means, for the Buenos rest noches. of it. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or mental well-being, Mr. Versetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you Music look after our guest while I attend well, to my It's just every course. single song is so good. Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our congressman, Alex Shrub, with rising silicone star, Candy Sachs. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent. Lead singer with Love Fest. Yeah, can I tell you, do you know how they play ping pong? It's There's so many good play. characters. It does not involve a battle, <laughs> if you know what. Important. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo intellectual film director Fish Steve Wall Scott. Throws a passion with the Nipho invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. <laughs> and now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, the another amigo. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very trying. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get the out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. It's just, it's so, like, much leagues ahead of GTA 3. GTA 3 set the, the scene and this just took it to so new levels, such new levels. You mind me resting my hand in your lap? 
maybe. The fact that you can buy all the um, these businesses and stuff and earn income from them as well, I used to love that aspect of this game. Especially the auto shop. Go save, since I haven't saved yet since we started the game. Um, yeah, Sunshine Autos was great. But, um, yeah, there was no, to answer a question in the chat from earlier, there's no, there was no, like, takedown strike from having the music on. Uh, it, it, it does vary to be fair, if, you, know, you might just get unlucky and one of the songs will be owned by a company that want to completely take down the video, but most of them are just happy to share the, the well not even share the revenue, just take the revenue from the video. So like, for example, the first episode of GTA 3, I think it was caught up by like three uh, three different songs and you know the different companies that own those songs they share the revenue and i earn nothing and, uh, but as long as as long as it doesn't affect the uh, video's visibility i'm okay with it sometimes they can be dicks about it and completely block the video worldwide but as long as that ah, well i hope happen, you're having okay. a good time because i'm going out of my mind with worry here what did you find out that there are more criminals in this town than in prison we need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it. Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. So nice of them to earn money off your work, I know. And they're, they're, yeah, they're earning so much off me with these playthroughs. But it, it's the risk of it, it's more the risk of it being taken down completely, honestly, that that's the, the main problem. Um, so that's why, that's why I'm happy to have it on for the first half an hour and then after that, you know, probably not. First time I ever heard Brian Adams in this game. I was introduced to so much incredible music through this game. I, some of the songs that are in this game have stayed in my music collection since since discovering them. <laughs> Just timeless classics. How does that work if one company wants the money and another wants to take down? And it just gets taken down. Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know why I'm looking for some English guy. Ken Paul. Ken Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Ken Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Trust, mate. It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right. Go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? 
Oh man. The characters in this game. I don't know, they're just like. Fever 105 for a bit. Oh, what a song! <laughs> It's just every single time, like, you, you change the radio station and it all just gets incredible. So I'm saying, there's not enough time. Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. You're wow. Ha. Cell phone acquired. Beautiful. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Yeah, take this. Follow me. Lance Vance. This way. Hold on one to auto target cycle to fire. Your funeral, pal. A personal favor from me. I'll take some knives. Lance Vance's white in fairness. One thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. The local gunshot. Iconic. Freaking iconic. Oh, <laughs> this game's the best. The music, they're just, just everything. Oh, this game got me through that 24 hour stream. It really did. In my lowest moments in that 24-hour stream, when I was feeling like I wasn't going to make it, or the Vice City, it got me through. <laughs> Such a good banger after banger after banger. Oh, man. Oh, I remember this. You can carry one of each type of weapon in this game. So there's different to You can't just carry everything. I kind of like that. Like multiple slots and then different options. I just can't. I just can't with this game. It's just so good. See what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. I guess we'll save since we're here. Let me get my uh, old threads on. Thank you, Egbert, for the four months. Agnew for the 47 months. In excess hype. Wait. Oh, what's L1 for me? Uh, no. It's hey, uh, Leo, I think we got a buyer for Diaz's merchandise. You gotta give him a ring, man. Set up the deal, you know? Where are you now? You okay, Leo? You sound kind of different. Just tell me where you are. Who the hell is this? Put Leo on, man. Leo's gone away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. 
Yeah, I've still got my uh, custom button configuration that I use for GTA 3, so every time it tells me to do something, I need to... Um, ah, when you close pick up a 1-star, 2-star wanted level will be cleared. I did not know that. I forgot about that. I probably knew about it 20 years ago, but... Um, blown tire as well with the 96 months. Thank you so much. Sub for 8 years. It's a long time. Thank you very much. And... Um, there you go. Uh, Dr. Zoidberg with the 40 months, the first GTA game I owned and didn't have to play at a friend's house. Big time nostalgia. I know, right? Like, San Andreas just did, didn't hit me the same way that this did. I don't know. I don't know whether it was like... This sort of music, is I've realised, is my sort of music too. Like, I really I'm love so it. So maybe it was the fact that it was the first time I was introduced so to music that I really, really so liked. But I don't know, just everything about this game, it's just my perfect GTA game. I know a lot of people love San Andreas, and San Andreas was great for so many reasons, but it never it never lived up to Vice, nothing's ever lived up to Vice City for me. Ruffy was always an old man at heart. Oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you! Oh, jeez! I'm gonna need new pants! Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon! Now where is the goddamn money?! Relax, relax. We're not at that point oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this! I really did! And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor! You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, it's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out! I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that! The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? <laughs> I love those little quips. All the nostalgia and memories you have with this game, I have with San Andreas. I mean, makes sense. Thing is, this wasn't even my first. This wasn't even my first um, GTA game. Dumb Florida moron. <laughs> uh, do I want the hammer or do I want the knife? I mean, I've got a gun too. I mean, I guess I can take the hammer. Intimidate the jurors, but don't kill them. Okay. Back to your homes, Florida. Go back to slow motion. I think this is the last. Oh, what a banger! Oh, it's just this song is so good. I mean, I'll probably turn the music off after after this mission. So let's let's enjoy it while we can. It's nothing but bangers. It's true. It is nothing but bangers. But again, if you wanna, if you wanna continue listening to the music while I'm playing, you know, you can find Vice City Radio and stuff like that. The songs from Vice City or the soundtrack on uh, on YouTube or whatever to play in the background, I suppose. But it, it's definitely worth having the uh, the first half an hour with it. It's taking longer than I remember. There we go. I can't believe this is happening. You remember Giorgio? You remember he's innocent? <laughs> All right, next one. Next up, we have a beautiful record for you to get in touch with yourself with. I just die in your arms tonight. Must 
I need something to say. Come in with me, It's just, it's so good. And the radio personalities were always really good as well. Oh, God. This game. It's so good. It's so good. All right, we got a little bit rest. Let's see what's on wave. Yes. Oh, I'm extending the length of this mission just a, just a tad, just a smidge. <laughs> what's on? Uh, what's on? Flash. Our last bit of music. We're getting it all in. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, full of diamonds. Oh, it's so good. Okay, fine. <laughs> I like how they give you more hammers in case you need them. Hey man, my car! Leave my damn car alone, man! Yo man, I still got payment! to make on this oh please god someone help me Giorgio sends his regards <laughs> there we go all right I'll go save got one last little bit of music before while I get to the uh, the hotel Five, maybe. Down, down. Down, down. Down, down. Down, down. A little bit of V Rock, maybe. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Hey, Tommy, it's sunny. How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. We ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, Tommy, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Move along, Don't people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Oh, man. Do us both a favor. Get I'm looking forward to hearing from you. It really is the best soundtrack of all of GTA. It's like, it's so good. And if anyone has never played this game, You've just got to, you just got to get it and play it. Don't play the definitive editions, find a way to get the original like this and just, just play it with all the music. Immerse yourself in the world. It's just fantastic. Wait.